it's so beautiful here. It's like nature. I hear like birds singing. We got blue herons. We got three mated pairs right across the river here. They're beautiful birds. You see them making a nest at this point in time. It's a close neighborhood. All the neighbors knew each other. I grew up near the river, so I was not so scared. Uh, I know that it's river, and uh, at that time when we bought that house, they just told us you need to buy a flood insurance, and and everything like gonna be good. Thirteen was pretty bad. Um, the whole area, most of these homes took a hit. We were living in a property approximately two blocks away. Um, that property flooded, but. The, the living space itself was actually far above the flood. Uh, most of the residents around here did take on water and did, did have damages. It was an adventure for me. I know it was stressful for a lot of people. I had, a, I had the ability to get in and out. I had a Jeep, and um, I actually pulled some people out of here and accommodated as much as I could. And before you know it, six years had gone by, and uh, this home I thought had sold, and it came up available again, and I jumped on it, uh, attempting to buy it, and that's when this whole conflict with the city began. So we're the old dogs here, you know, the survivors. The people that are longtime residents here, the, the older people, they don't want to move. You know, so we're going to have the old timers here and the new people that bought the houses, like my new neighbors here. A year or two ago after the last flood, they had really good prices to buy in. And from what I understand, the city and the Forest Preserve and FEMA will pay them the purchase price, but not the improvements. There's a rule, a FEMA rule, it's designed to prevent people that are in a floodplain or a floodway, this has been redefined as a floodway now, from over-improving their home. And, and by over-improving it, FEMA would be on the hook for repairing it if the damages were excessive. I understand the law and, and the purpose of it, but it's being used arbitrarily here and uh, inappropriately in my view. They told us that um, they're going to uh, do buyout, and um, and I asked about my case uh, especially, and they told me that because I bought that houses for 110, they told told me at that time that and even till now that they they will pay us just that amount, not even for remodeling. I had two appraisals from city here, and they appraised my house for 2,000. To 60 and more something, and they just uh, gave, just tell me that they can give me just 110 as I bought in 2013. And uh, what can I buy for that house for that money? I have two kids, and I am alone. I, I can't even afford one like studio or in not even one bedroom condo. I lost my husband, and now I have to lose my house. So we're kind of down here on the end of the peninsula by ourselves at this point. It's a little intimidating in that you're, as you watch the homes go down, you're kind of wondering ultimately what's the goal here? Are they going to get mine and tear it down ultimately? I think they probably intend to do that. That's what the engineer stated. But um, we're going to stay as long as we can, and we're going to defend it as well as we can uh, from their efforts to take it.